What's going on everybody? So I recently started a new hobby, airbrushing my own lures, top water lures, crankbaits. I'm going to show y'all a quick video of two crankbaits I painted, so I hope y'all enjoy it. Stay tuned. I'm just going to apply a black base coat, and I'm using black opaque paint. Also, most of the paints that I use are Createx paint. They're pretty decent paint. I don't have no issues with them yet. I'm also going to heat set the paint, just use a, a blow dryer, seems to work well, it's not too hot like a heat gun, just cures the paint faster. Right here I'm just using a little bit of black paint that I had left so I don't waste any paint. All right, I'm gonna take this mesh. I'm gonna put a scale pattern on it. Now what I do is I lock it right there, and you stretch it. You want to kind of get it even. You just hook it right there. And you pull it tight. You got a pretty good pattern. Then you want to put it back. I'm going to just hit it with a little red. Now that I got that dry, I'm going to hit it with a 
light coat of white paint again. Just so I want to spray the red on it, kind of brighten the red up a little bit more to get that kind of deep purple that I'm trying to get. Alright, now that I have that heat set on that white paint, I'm going to apply another coat of red. If you can notice, I didn't cover the whole body with white paint, just the, the back towards the tail. Taking the mesh off, you want to make sure you don't drag it. You just kind of want to peel it away. Kind of just let it roll off the, the bait so it doesn't damage your paint. See the pattern you have? Look at that. I'm going to put that back in. Just got to add a few more colors and then coat it in the resin and then you really see the colors pop. I'm gonna apply a black stripe from his head all the way down his backbone to the tail. Here I'm going to apply a shimmering red just to kind of accent the lower. Alright, this is what I use to coat it with. I just dip it and let it hang dry for 24 hours. The key is dip it slow. Just dip the whole bait. Out slow. Look at that. And you put a little piece at the bottom. Let it hang like that so it gets your runoff. Look at that. You just let it hang. And tomorrow it'll be ready to put the split rings and hooks. Alright, so on this one right here. The base coat is black, and I'm just going to apply white because I'm going to be putting fluorescent yellow and a pearl lime green 
so that white's going to really bring out that color. I'm going to apply the fluorescent yellow, mostly about midway from the bottom, just to kind of accent it a little bit. Right here I'm going to apply a lime pearl green on the back of the bait, down the whole back of the lower from the head down to the tail. same thing when removing your mesh you just kind of want to just roll it off of the bait don't drag it or pull it just kind of let it roll out of there so you don't smear any of your paint There you go, look at that pattern. And the bottom's still black. Now we're just gonna hit that. And right here, here I'm gonna apply some black paint to the belly. Just have a nice uniform line. Cool. That's it. With that nice black belly. The heat set that. And right here, I'm just gonna coat it in a. KBS diamond coat. This the last step as far as painting. And this to really bring that those colors and that pattern out.
I hope y'all enjoyed this video and thank y'all for watching. And if this is your first time, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.